Hi everyone, in this video today I want to talk with you a little bit about the difference between a trap gun and a skeet gun. Now uh, my idea for this video came from a viewer that commented in a section of another video so thanks for that and uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing I want to talk to talk about is the barrel length. Um, that's probably going to be the first difference that you're going to notice right off the bat in a skeet gun and a trap gun is that skeet guns are going to tend to be um, quite a bit shorter although they are getting a little bit longer these days so for example popular skeet gun lengths tend to be 28 inch 30 inch or a 32 inch in comparison to a trap gun that will be a 30 inch or a 32 inch for your double barrel and then a 34 inch for your unsingle or a top single depending on which one you choose to go with now, um, obviously you have a 32 inch in both ranges and a 30 inch in both ranges, but you don't have the 34 inch um, unsingle like I have here for my Krogoff K80 trap gun. Um, and, and the reason for that is it's, it's a different angle. So on trap, you're shooting and the angle is going out from you or at a V. So it's, it's always going away from you. And so you have to be very, very um, smooth, which you have to be you know, very precise as well in, in skeet, um, but it, it's a different movement, you, you know, it's just, it's just, it's different, so you need a different barrel for that, especially whenever you start backing up to the 27 yard line, you know, you have to make such a small, small movement that you, know, you just, you need a bigger barrel to help you do that. Um, in comparison, skeet is coming more from the side type of an angle, so you have a lot more ground to cover and you have a lot bigger lead that you need. So a lot of times a, a shorter barrel will help you do that. Although you, I think that you have seen 32 inch barrels now become maybe a little bit more of a, a popular thing. Um, you know, so a longer barrel may be where ski is heading. It'll be interesting to see that. The next thing that I want to talk about is the point of impact. It's a pretty significant difference. Um, trap shooting, you typically see people stay somewhere from the 70-30 meaning that 70% of your shot is above where you're aiming and 30% is below. Uh, they're usually somewhere around that 70-30 range to about 100%, meaning that all of your stop, all of your pattern is just right above where you're aiming. So if I'm aiming here, all of it's going to be here, um, you know, just right above it. Um, so that's the, the main range for trap. The main range for, ski, for skeet is about 60-40 to 70-20, uh, or I'm sorry, 60-40 to 70-30. And, and so that's a big difference, you know, your, your skeet range, the top of that skeet range is right at the bottom of your range for trap shooting in terms of your point of impact. So that's going to be another pretty big difference there. Um, and once again, it has to do with a different target angle and a different movement and everything. Now the stock, this is something that has kind of changed in recent years that you, you, you start seeing a lot more stocks in skeet that are like the stocks in trap guns. So what I mean by that is, if you look at my K80 here, and I'll come a little bit closer, um, you can almost draw a line where it'd be perfectly straight from this cone to the top of the barrel. And that's called a parallel cone. Now in skeet, a lot of times you'll see a tapered cone, meaning that it kind of goes like this. But that has changed in recent years to where a lot of shooters are using this parallel cone. You don't see it used in, in trap shooting. Um, any if ever and I, I've never seen one on a trap gun honestly um, so if you see a tapered stock I would say 99.9999% of the time it's going to be a skeet gun so um, keep that in mind as well that is a difference but um, you know like I said you are seeing more parallel combs using skeet so it's, it's definitely a personal preference thing and it's nice that they have that option available now for you to be able to choose whichever one works better for you the last difference that you see, really big difference that you see between skeet and trap in terms of the guns is the chokes. Skeet has way more open chokes than trap. Once again, it has to do with the distance of the target. It's a different target. You know, a skeet, a skeet target is going to be a lot closer to you, whereas in a trap target, you're, you're shooting way out there, so you have to have a little bit of a tighter choke for that. Um, if the only exception to that rule is first shot of doubles. I know shooters that have used a, a skeet choke for their, that first shot because they get it really, really quick. But outside of that one target, you're going to need a tighter choke than a, a skeet choke for trap shooting. So thank you guys for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.